Tony O'Reilly is one of the most interesting, fascinating people to have been part of Irish public life for the last 60 years. He's gone from being billionaire, the man who seemingly had everything, to being virtually bankrupt. And it is just one of the most extraordinary stories, which is why I felt I had to write it. The man is still alive, so there's a degree of sensitivity that has to be had towards the position in which he finds himself now. And I was very concerned that I didn't want to be seen to kicking a man when he was down. So the book has to be very fair and very balanced because of that. I suppose the one thing is don't do it unless you enjoy it. The reason that I did this book is that I got an enormous amount of enjoyment out of actually writing it, crafting it, putting it together with my editor, and then seeing it. When you actually get the physical copy of the book in hand, there's a certain degree of pride in relation to that. I'm reading uh, Jonathan Franzen's Purity, which is a big read which I'm trying to get through. I actually hadn't actually thought about what I wanted for Christmas. I've been very busy recently. I've just done a Rugby World Cup. I haven't had a day off in about seven weeks. Thinking of Christmas, you know, I start thinking about that next. My first day off after the Rugby World Cup, I went to see the Martian with the whole family. Enjoyed it enormously. My wife, absolutely. She'd kill me if I said anyone else.